Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my June favourites. I know it was like only yesterday when I did my May favourites, so I hope you enjoy. So pretty much all of this month's favourites are actually like makeup um, favourites. Um, I don't know why, I just, yeah, it's just kind of been makeup favourites this month. So I'm going to start off um, with something which is so pretty and I absolutely love and it's this blush from Clinique it's their cheek pops or their blush pops and this is in the shade 03 berry pop and it's just such a pretty kind of pinkish berry colour some people have been saying these are like a cream blush um I don't think these are a cream blush at all um but I think people have been saying like a cream to powder um I can't really tell that it is a cream to powder if it is but these are just such a pretty kind of pop of colour to the cheeks. Um, I think they have four different shades. And I think about £16 and I want them all. Um, they're just so pretty and small and compact. The little design is so cute. And these are just such great quality blushes. Um, they really do kind of look like this on the cheeks. I'm not wearing it today. But I have been reaching for this pretty much every day since I got it. Um, and yeah you can kind of really sheer it out and make it look really natural or you can definitely build it up um, but just be careful because you don't want to end up looking like a clown and I actually got that when I got some other things from Debenhams I'm not sure if I did a Debenhams haul um, but I did take a picture on my Instagram so you can go check that out this is the Bronze Goddess perfume from Estee Lauder and it smells like coconut and vanilla this just smells like a holiday it's heaven in a bottle um, I believe this one has actually used the original notes that the Bronze Goddess used. Um, you probably won't be able to get your hands on it now. And another thing that I got from that Debenhams haul was this little Traveló. And I don't actually have any perfume left in it. I only put a little bit of the perfume in just to kind of try it out and pop in my purse. And this has just come really handy and I really want to get another one for my holiday. Um, so for the moisturiser that I've been using is from the Johnson's Face Care Daily Essentials range and it's their hydrating 24 hour day cream with SPF 15 normal skin and um, yeah I've just kind of been using it up, it's got SPF 15 in, nothing um, really high and you know it's not going to protect you massively but it just gives my skin that tiny bit more protection and I found that my skin's been a little bit more dry recently and so this has just really kind of helped to moisturise my skin and make my foundation go on much more flawlessly and then speaking of foundations I've really been loving the L'Oreal True Match foundation which is quite unusual for me because I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation one day I'll like it, the next day I'll hate it, a couple of days later I'll love it um, but literally this month I've just been reaching for this and it's been looking really nice. Um, I'm not wearing it today, but um, yeah, it has been kind of the foundation of choice uh, this month. I've also really been enjoying using the Maybelline Dreamling Touch Highlighting Concealer. Um, I found that the dark bags under my eyes have kind of faded a little bit, so I haven't been needing to use such a heavy kind of under eye concealer. So I've just been reaching for this, and this has just done the job of just. Um, highlighting underneath the eyes and I really like it because it doesn't crease and it's really affordable so I really recommend this concealer. The last beauty favourite is the Maybelline False Tooth Mascara and um, this is my second tube of mascara and I think it is like my all time favourite mascara. Um, I had to wait quite a while before I could use this one as I had lots of other ones I needed to use up and the whole time I was using the other ones I just wanted to be using this one. Um, but I, I did wait patiently, um, did feel like a lifetime of waiting, but I'm just so glad to be reunited with this mascara. And I just really recommend it for everyone. It gives such a good kind of volume and length to the eyes. And um, it really kind of defines and kind of curls the eyelashes as well. It's just a great kind of all-rounder mascara. You can really kind of build it up without looking clumpy and spidery. Um, but you can kind of just apply a light coat for like everyday use so I think this is just such a great um, all round mascara 
So I hope you had a really good month and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.